Can key crime policies really work? In England and Wales, crime and policing has been largely left off the election agenda. So here are some proposals to kickstart the debate. The conservative idea that caught my eye is flash incarceration. This is a new kind of jail term for prolific offenders, which, according to their manifesto, will deliver a short, sharp spell in custody, a throwback to Willie Whitelaw's short, sharp shock of the 1980s. Under the plan, offenders who breach community orders would be detained for 48 hours in police cells. But how will overstretched police forces cope with that? And will the scheme, based on a program across 18 U.S. states which the Tories say has significantly cut real offending, prove to be more than an election gimmick? Labor's law and order offering include the commitment to keep police on the beat with a guarantee that neighborhood policing will be protected in every community. They have identified hundreds of millions of pounds of savings to safeguard 10,000 police officers they claim will be cut under the Tories. I would like to know if Labour will promise to maintain officer numbers across the full five-year parliament, and how they can reach their savings target when many forces already complain that they can't make further efficiencies without compromising safety. Drugs The standout Liberal Democrat proposal is on drugs, an issue that has hardly featured in the campaign. The Lib Dems would end imprisonment for people caught with drugs for personal use. Users wouldn't get a criminal record, but receive civil penalties and be diverted into treatment or education. But are the Lib Dems worried about the message that might send to young people who are considering experimenting with illegal substances and would they reverse it if they found it led to an increase in the number of users? Question mark. Central to UKRP's crime policy plans is a pledge to remove foreign 